Today is day three in my rehabilitation after my right shoulder surgery a couple of days ago um, in a pretty big sling, must be one of the world's biggest slings. And uh, just gonna give you a little bit of feedback of how things have gone down in the first three days after surgery. The reason I had the surgery is that I've had tremendous pain in my right shoulder around the rotator cuff and subscapularis and that points to exactly where the, the very localized pain is when I'm paddling. The other problem is that when I stand up on my surfboard there's been pain shooting um, down my bicep so on my right bicep where that points to there that's where the other pain was. So this whole surgery was to sort out those two major issues. The pain's been going on for about a year. So after a recent MRI, um, I decided to have the surgery to sort this all out. The surgery is done arthroscopically, and this was checking into the uh, ward before I went in for my op. The first thing they do is put iodine on your arm to completely disinfect it. And so they come and prep you at your bedside before going in for surgery. An anaesthetist comes to chat to you about um, your operation and the surgeon also had a long chat to me before my op. And then uh, this is a physiotherapist that came to see me before my operation to go through the uh, basic physio that I need to do um, in the first couple of days directly after the operation. So these are a couple of the exercises that um, she was explaining to me and what to do and what not to do in the first uh, 10 to 14 days after surgery. This is what it looks like on day one after I got home. So this is about uh, five hours after the surgery. You can see the patches where the arthroscopic um, instruments have gone into my arm. And then there's also a morphine patch, which releases morphine into your body over the next seven days. The single biggest thing that I found has been the most difficult to get used to is the arm sling. So I've got an ab what they call an abduction sling it uh, clips in four different places and it's taken a while to figure out how to get this thing on and off um, by myself and you've got to sleep with it on and you've got to keep it on 24 hours a day except when doing your exercises so that's been the biggest thing that i've uh, found challenging to try and get used to so taking the sling on and off is just a step-by-step -step process starting by putting your arm and your elbow comfortably in the sling um, and then attaching it around your waist and over your, over your shoulder. It takes a, a couple of tries to get used to. My wife helped me the first couple of times, but I've, I've managed to figure it out myself within sort of two days. Um, so you, you do start getting used to it. The sling plays a huge role in the recovery. So it has to be lined up correctly and your elbow, shoulder and back should all be in alignment once the sling is on. Getting dressed is a huge mission. Um, everything from tying your shoelaces to putting your shirts on and off. Um, my wife also helped me uh, the first few times, but I've managed to figure out how to get a t-shirt on and off using one arm at a time and also not elevating the uh, shoulder that's just had surgery. The best way to start is to put your arm into um, the t-shirt using the arm that's been operated on and then you take it from there. So it is possible to, to actually do it yourself. A button-up shirt would probably work easier, um, but I prefer wearing t-shirts, so I managed to figure out a way of doing it without um, putting too much strain on the injured arm. Here's a couple of essentials that you need after surgery. The first thing is ice. You need to ice the injury or where the surgery has been a couple of times a day. I've also got some really strong uh, prescription anti-inflammatories that I'll be taking for the first week, as well as some, uh, some painkillers. Then I'm also taking a collagen supplement to help with the tendons and the uh, muscle regrowth at the site of the, of the surgery. And um, then I'm taking some CBD oil um, with a little bit of THC in it just to help me sleep at night. I find it's very difficult to sleep with the sling 
and uh, the CBD with a bit of THC has helped me to uh, get a better night's sleep. So the first three days have been very much about figuring out some sort of routine. Uh, this morning we managed to go down to our local beachfront, go for a little walk outside. It was nice to get out and watch a bit of the guys surfing. And I'll try and uh, post more of these updates as my recovery goes. Cheers.